Hello guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Very excited for today's video because I have an extensive list of amazing gift ideas slash wish list ideas that you can ask for or that you can get for somebody else this holiday season. This list has so many different sections and categories and I also made a Google Doc for this wish list so you can find links to every single thing that I mentioned in this video in this Google Doc and the link for that will be in my description. But let's get started because I have lots to go through. Starting off with fashion, I have tees and shirts from Imprint We Trust. This is a brand I've been really wanting to check out recently. They have just really cute little graphic tees. Brandy Melville sweaters, they're perfect to throw on in the winter and they come in so many colors. This specific top from Amazon, I just think that is really cute and flattering. As well as just a generic zip up sweatshirt, like they have a lot of them on Amazon and I've bought several from Amazon before. Lululemon Define jacket, specifically the pink one. I have the black one and I love it, but I think the pink peony color specifically is really cute. The Brandy Melville Bonnie top, a little bit on the pricier side for sure, but Ralph Lauren sweaters. These have so many cute designs and you can also buy them used to try to get them cheaper. Moving into pants, these specific pink yoga pants from PacSun, they are adorable and these are on my wish list. Also just saw that PacSun came out with these low rise jeans and these look perfect. So the Brandy Melville cargo pants, I bought a pair of the olive green ones a few months ago and they are like my favorite pair of pants. So I honestly just want every color now. The Brandy Melville Hillary yoga pants, also the Brandy Melville sweatpants, they come in so many colors. I recently got the rainy sweatpants and I love those. Pink blue lemon legging. My boyfriend got me these for Christmas last year. They are so pretty and cute and I love wearing them to do like Pilates and to work out. Levi Low Pro jeans which are my favorite pair of jeans as well as the Levi Low Loose jeans. I've really been wanting to try them out. Next into sort of like accessories. I have an Acne Studios scarf on here but it doesn't have to be Acne Studios. Earmuffs. I wore these all throughout fall and winter last year and I definitely want to get another pair this year in another color. Sandy Liang socks, specifically the ones with the bows on them, but honestly anything on that whole website is just beautiful. A North Face coat, I already have the black one, but I've really been looking at this Sherpa one because it's so cute. This jacket from my mom made it, oh my god, the bows are so cute. Everything on this website I want to buy, <laughs> as well as a Brandy Melville matching set. I have like four pairs of the little boy shorts and love pairing them with like a little tank top that goes with them. Leg warmers are something that I love. We also have special kind of leg warmers either with ribbons sewn onto them or they have lace on them. There's just lots of cute, unique ones. So this can be a fun gift to give someone. And then the Princess Polly mini skirt. If you're looking for the perfect black mini skirt, this is the one. And honestly, anything from Skims. I think the Skims dresses are so pretty, but any Skims set. <laughs> Next, moving on to shoes. I think that having a pair of good black boots for the fall and winter season is essential. I bought these ones at Target recently and I really love them. These shoes I really, really want are the Adidas Forum Lows. I love this color specifically with the pink and brown. I think they're so cute. Nike Dunks, I have tons of pairs. You can get them in pretty much any color. You can get lows or highs or mids if you want. Also the Nike Court Burrows. They have these in like pastel baby pink. These are actually a kid's shoe, but if you can like fit Fit into big kids sizes then you could get these. Converse have so many cute colors to choose from and then Doc Martens like another staple shoe in my wardrobe and then this is kind of funky but moon boots definitely more expensive but I think these are so fun for like an opera ski shoe or just to wear in the winter. Next, moving on to skincare, one of my favorite sections. An ice roller for depuffing your face. A skincare fridge. I think this is a great gift because it's something that I feel like people wouldn't really want to buy for themselves because it doesn't seem necessary. Next is skincare from the brand Faded, specifically this brightening serum, as well as a gua sha if you don't already have one. They're great for lymphatic drainage and something I definitely recommend implementing into your self-care routine. Coco Kind is one of my favorite clean and non-toxic skincare brands. I love so many products from them. One that I would specifically recommend is the Barrier Serum as well as the daily SPF. I have both of these products and they are amazing. I love the sunscreen because it's a mineral sunscreen, but it, it doesn't leave like a white cast on your face. I also love the brand Bioma. I love the gel moisturizer in the pink bottle and also the hydrating serum. Skinny Confidential is one brand I've been seeing all over my TikTok and Pinterest and I would love either of these two products. They are definitely on the expensive side, but the Skinny Confidential ice roller and also the face massager. 
Next, we're on to body care, a dry brush. I've been using one for the past few years and they're so great at exfoliating your body, but also helping to promote circulation. A body scrub. I know everybody talks about the Tree Hut ones, but a non-toxic version of that could be the Shea Moisture one. I've used the coconut one from Target and I love that. Also a body oil. This is something I put on every single night and it makes my skin so soft when I wake up. And then perfume. I am definitely a perfume girly. I'm gonna give you some of my favorite perfumes, but keep in mind that it is definitely a personal thing and everybody has different things that they like. Glossier You, kind of spicy and musky. Delina from Perfumes de Marley. So, so good. It's powdery and feminine and it's definitely on the more expensive side, but it's beautiful. And this is one that I really want. Diptyque perfumes in general. My favorite is Lo Papier. Perfumes from Le Labo. My favorite is Another 13. Burberry Her, kind of like the powdery sweet scent that I also really love. And this is another one that's on my wish list. And then Cloud Pink. I have been using Cloud for years, literally, and it's been like my go-to sweet girly perfume but cloud pink just came out a few months ago and that's one i definitely want to try as well miss dior i would recommend the edp definitely a more sophisticated scent bottle is absolutely beautiful and it's amazing and i have that one and then sol de janeiro body mists are a great option for something much more affordable favorite sol de janeiro scent is the pink one Next onto hair care, the Amika shampoo and conditioner. And then along with that, the Amika soul food hair mask. I've heard great things about it. Also hair rollers, a bamboo brush for scalp stimulation and promoting hair growth. These cutest flower clips that I've been seeing everywhere and I'm absolutely going to order some. They are so pretty. And then these, I think they're called duck clips, but they're kind of like alligator clips. You can use them to hold in your rollers and also hold your hair back out of your face when you're doing makeup. These MEJ clips, I love this one with the bows on it. And then one product I've really been wanting to try as well is the Color Wow Dream Coat. Next on to makeup, the Rare Beauty Highlight. I've used the like liquid highlight and I really love that, but I've been wanting to try the one that's in solid form, the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I have several colors of this and everyone knows it's an amazing product, but also the Rare Beauty Cream Blush. This ColourPop Heart Blush, I think the packaging is so cute and ColourPop is a great, more affordable brand. I haven't bought either of these, but both the Dior Lip Oil and the Dior Lip Glow. I think that I've never been able to justify the price buying it for myself, but I think this is another great gift. This Amazon makeup bag that I've been seeing everywhere and, and this is also on my wish list. And then the Glossier makeup bag is another thing I've been wanting for a long time. In terms of Glossier, I love the cloud paint, been using it for years. My favorite color is Storm and Haze. And the Glossier Balm.com, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. If you don't want to spend that much money, the e.l.f. Halo Glow seems to be a really good dupe for it. Also one of these spinning makeup slash skincare organizers. <laughs> Next is jewelry, which I feel like is a very difficult category because it's, again, something that's very personal. A locket necklace. I think the most amazing gift ever would be a locket necklace with a picture of, like, you and that person inside. These bow earrings from Enroute, I actually just ordered them because I've been eyeing them for months. Sandy Liang ballerini earrings, definitely on the more expensive side, but I've had these pinned to my Pinterest for months, and they are beautiful. And Vivian Westwood is a brand that I'm just, in general, obsessed with, so I think any jewelry from Vivian Westwood a cute keychain this brand Gemini jewels oh my god I'm in love with practically everything on their website so I think these earrings with the stars this necklace which goes with the earrings and also this bow ring now moving on to lifestyle and wellness some glass cups like these with lids and straws are something that I really have been wanting just for making like my little matcha drinks in the morning Papier is one of my favorite brands I love journaling. I talk about it in so many of my videos, but they have the cutest and most amazing journals ever. So I think the wellness journal from Papier is beautiful, perfect, and I think it would make a great gift. As well as the Papier planners, they have academic planners as well as just regular planners. Matcha sets this is something that I personally have on my wish list as well. Cute mugs, a satin robe to get ready in, a Lululemon water bottle, specifically the pink one, a bath tray. This is something that I've also been wanting for a long time, but I think this can really elevate your bath experience. Experience. A yoga mat. I specifically linked the Lululemon one on here, but I think that having a cute yoga mat in general makes such a difference. I would definitely recommend checking out TJ Maxx for yoga mats because I got like the cutest baby pink one for like $10 or $15. Heart bowls. 
I just saw these and added them to my wish list immediately because I would love to make my little smoothie bowls or like my veggie bowls in these. I think they're so cute. This gratitude journal is something that I have and I use it every day. I love it. As well as the do it for yourself journal. I've talked about this in videos as well, but this journal is amazing. I couldn't recommend it more. The my mom made it bag. This thing is beautiful. I think it's a perfect little workout bag and a hydro flask. That is my water bottle of choice. I know lots of people like Stanley cups and stuff, but I definitely prefer a water bottle. So I have the cute pink hydro flask. The Dash waffle makers, a great affordable gift. They're like 10 or $15. They have different shapes. Like there's a heart one. There are seasonal ones as well. Smeg appliances are absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to fill my future house with them, but I think something that would be really cute is like the Smeg tea kettle. If you like tea or even the toaster or something, definitely more expensive, but they're beautiful. They are so nice and such great quality. A salt lamp if you don't already have one. Next, moving on to bedroom and decor stuff. I have lots in this section because I love decorating my room. The Wes Anderson book. I love Wes Anderson, so I love this. Also, the Sofia Coppola book. Two of my favorite directors. I think this would make a great coffee table book as well. Diptyque candles. Definitely on the pricier side, but I think the rose one and the vanilla one are super cute and they smell amazing. The film for her book. Coloring book. I specifically want the Bobby Goods coloring book, but it's really hard to get your hands on them. And the Cali Art markers on Amazon. Candier candles. I've had multiples of these and I love them. They're so cute and they smell great as well as these twist candles that I think are just a little bit funky and fun. This heart dish from Amazon I think would be perfect for putting jewelry and just little trinkets into and I've really been wanting one of these but it's like a salt candle holder and also a seashell dish. Storage crates like these I have so many of them and they come in handy all the time and these pink glass candlestick holders I have these and I really love them. The Glossier candle I have the U candle but there's also a pink one. This brand Everlasting Fabric has beautiful sheet sets and bed sets and they are so unique and pretty and then a jelly cat they have so many cute ones. I really love the moon and star and also the cherries. Next, it's kind of like entertainment and tech. So I have some books. I think books are really difficult though, unless you know what that person likes. But if you have specific books that are like on your TBR, then that's definitely something to ask for for Christmas. Some great nonfiction books are The Power of the Subconscious Mind. This is one that I just ordered and I cannot wait to read it. I Live Bent Backward Over the Grass is Lana Del Rey's book. If you didn't know, it's like a poetry book. So that could be cool to ask for if you like Lana Del Rey. Atomic Habits is an iconic, great book for boosting productivity. And then in terms of tech, wildflower phone cases. They have so many beautiful ones. I specifically really want this little ballerina like bow one right now. And then a digital camera. I love the Canon G7X Mark II. That's what I use. But even if you get a cheaper one, I think having a digital camera is so fun to take on trips and just document them. These are definitely on the pricey side, but this is something I really want. And that's the AirPod Max headphones or just some headphones in general. And then along with that is some headphone covers. They have really cute AirPod Max like like headphone covers that you can put on to make them cuter and more personalized. Casetify also makes really great and cute phone cases. Like I love this Aura one. And I think another great idea and something that I constantly wish that I had is it's like a little desk thing that you put on top of your bed so that you can use your laptop in bed. A projector and then a Polaroid camera. I literally got mine for like my 14th birthday and I've had it ever since and I still use it all the time. It's so worth it to have actual tangible photos. And special cool pop sockets. There's some cute heart shaped ones on Etsy that I think are really cute. That is all of the things that I have on my list, but I really hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.